In this part of Middle Ramo district, few people walk through thick jungles for close to 80 kilometers or two weeks to access services in the capital Medang, while the majority have paid hefty boat fees from Ramu River to Medang. Since the groundbreaking ceremony in June this year, work has progressed. Project contractors MK Civil Works and Construction has cleared off 87 kilometers of thick forest and widened it to create a new road link from Medang Simbai to the mouth of Ramu River. In what seemed like an impossible task was completed in less than six months, completing the first phase of five-year project. Overseeing the construction is project manager Donald Polly. The next step now we're going to take is for us to do uh, the drainage and uh, basically we we'll do uh, the culverting and then we'll put the gravel, we'll do graveling. So that should be completed by hopefully next year. Compared to millions of kina spent on short distance roads, it cost only 7.8 million kina to cut through 87 kilometers of thick forest. Agriculture Minister Tommy Tomskol, who is the local MP, allocated 5 million kina for the next five years for the road project. Project costs have been reduced as MK Civil Works and Construction are using 24 machineries owned by the district company Middle Ramu Machinery. The road link from Medang Ayum Simbai Road through Pasimkap to Ramu River was a missing link that has opened up after 40 years. All basic services like administration, the schools, health centers, hospitals that is in the remote areas of Simbai and uh, Middle Ramu. As an economic corridor, 20,000 kina from Middle Ramu DSIP will be used to construct three markets along the highway. The local MP will also purchase a sawmill at the cost of 64,000 kina for the market timbers. Apart from this, the people can now transport cocoa to sell in Medang as currently Middle Ramu District has a cocoa export license. The road will be officially opened by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill on December 12. Bridget Komatep, National MTV News.